Okay, so we're looking at number four. Number four says 18 is 72% of what number? So I've already decided that this looks like example two. Do we agree? And the reason it looks like example two is because it matches the same format. Ours says 18 is 72% of what number? And here's my example. Please tell me, what do I know about every proportion? What about 100? Thank you. It's always the bottom right because the second ratio is going to be my percent stuff. Okay, that's my percent information. And I know that percents are out of 100. And if you're not writing this down, you should. Then I read my question again. It says 18 is 72% of what number? So my question, do I have a percent to use here? Yes, what is it? Thank you. And again, this is my percent information. In fact, look at that fraction, 72 out of 100. That's exactly the same answer as 72 percent. Now looking back, it says 18 is 72 percent of what number? Here, it tells me that 16 is the part, which means for my problem, 18 is also the part. That means it goes on top. And I'm going to go ahead and put W for the whole, because that's what I'm looking for. Question. We might be able to, let's look. 72 and 100, they're both even, which means I can simplify by two at least, right? What's half of 72? 36, okay, 36, and that would be 50. Oh, I love it. So I have 18 over W equals 36 over 50. Is there a relationship? Yes. yes. What's my scale factor gonna be? Times two, so going from here 18, I'd be multiplying by 2 to get 36, but I kind of need to go in the opposite direction because I need to know from here, how do I get this answer? So what's the opposite? Wait, wait, hold on. Opposite of multiplying by 2 would be dividing by 2. So from here to here needs to be dividing by 2. 36 divided by 2 gives me 18. So 50 divided by 2 gives me W equals 25. I'm impressed. That was pretty good.